Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here and in this video, I am going to be teaching you how to make a simple lower head inside of Canva. So if you're ready to create this, let's jump into Canva and let's get started. So this is the video we are going to be creating and you know in any video at all, there's the need for lower head, especially if you want to call out the names of your speakers or you want to call out social media handles and all of the interesting things you want your viewer to be able to read lower tets are interesting ways to do that so what we are going to do is exactly that we are going to print out the name of our speaker or whoever we have in our video on our screens okay so i will just create a new page over here and the dimension i'm using is the 1920 by 1080 dimension okay then i'll add my um video so i'll just copy this because i don't have time to um, be searching for new videos and paste it over here then what we are going to do is to add our text so press t on your keyboard because we have to design our text but some people will say you have to design your type which sounds very interesting okay so i will just put any name i'll just put maybe um alex no let me just use um ronaldo okay i'll put ronaldo here increase the size copy and paste and i'll put maybe gone Zalves Z A L V E S. This name sounds nice to me. I don't know, but it really sounds nice to me. So I arrange it this way, and I'll just change, you know, my typeface. So I'll put Champion Gothic, you know, which is a font I actually had to upload in Canva, and this can be done if you are on Canva Pro. So let me use this opportunity to tell you about Canva Pro. So just in case you are looking at having more than, in case of even wanting to upload your custom font in Canva, when you want to remove the background. Um, you know of your images when you want to publish content to any social media platform directly from canva and also when it comes to you know resizing your canva designs to any dimension of a choice canva pro helps you do that easily so if you are interested in trying canva pro out for free i have a special link in the description box below that can help you do that and you know since i'm talking about canva why not just also tell you about the assorted canva templates i created for you you know this is filled with five carousel templates and 15 poster templates you can use easily for anything at all you want to and the link can be found in the description box below as well so let's dive back into canva and let's continue with our design okay so i will just change this also to champion feather gothic champion gothic feather not champion feather <laughs> okay so i position this one here okay and i think the size is too big 224 and 204 so let me just change this back to 204 or 204 okay i position this one here and what i can do is i can even put this here okay and there's something interesting i can do select it select everything come to effect come to shadows and the direction of the shadow should be to the top okay then we would reduce the offset of it change the color to black okay then you would have to increase the blurriness of it so that we have this cool effect over here and in this case even if i put this one over here you can see how it's looking it's still looking very cool to me okay so this is what we have and it usually depends on what you want to create okay so now that we have this what i'm going to do is you can see i have this line over here so maybe i just have to put this one here okay have it everything like this and no it should be in the border okay then i will just press l on my keyboard for line okay i will rotate it 90 and i will reduce the length of it to something like this position it here and i'll use my arrow key to move it around okay and i think yeah it's too long so i reduce it to something like this come to the border style and the line width i'm going to increase it to something like this okay so yeah so this is looking very interesting okay so then i want to add a description of him who is he maybe he's a content creator so i press t on my keyboard for text increase my text position my text over here okay then i can say content creator okay content creator and i'm going to use poppins for this i just love poppins honestly i just love poppins so much i'm going to make it italic okay and uh, maybe he's a content creator for which company let's say this was an interview maybe i can just put so let's say alphabet alphabet okay so 
or we can just you know put his social media handle also maybe um ronaldo goni okay that's a cool name and we'll just use this to the regular poppins and we'll reduce the size of it okay so this is something cool we can have all right okay so now that we've been able to so now that we've been able to design the whole thing it's now time to animate the whole text to make the text appear in an interesting way okay and in this we are going to be combining all the different not all the different but some interesting animations canva has installed for us okay so let's dive back and um i will select all of this and increase it no just lift it up a little bit not increase per se okay and this also i want to send up a little bit okay so i will select this one first of all then i come to animate in animate we have to look for the bounce animation okay so this is it bounce animation so under bold writing we have bounce so you select it and choose both okay the intensity let's leave it the way it is okay then you come to the gonzalez so gonzalez we are going to use the pan animation so um just take your time i know sometimes it can be annoying trying to find everything so you can see this is the pan animation we have so this comes in first and um, with this if you want it to slow down you can you know just adjust this you understand so i like how it's coming in then with this you know with the content creator i would want to use the block animation okay so block was part of the first animation canva came up with okay so i will choose the block and the instagram handle to the same thing so block for both then with this particular one we are going to use the baseline okay baseline falls under slide in and out okay so i select it and i think yeah everything should look interesting i reduce the speed a little bit okay and you can either choose the direction if you want to slide in from the bottom to the top you choose this but i would want it from the top to the bottom okay and that's what we have at the moment so let's play the whole thing and see how everything looks like i like it and i also hope you also like it so yes let me know what you think about this design if you enjoyed it let me know in the comment section if you want me to create more animation tutorials like this inside of canva also let me know in the comment section and there are some two things here two things i want you to do if you like this video kindly hit on the like button to support the video if you want more canva tutorials like this hit on the red button we have down there and also hit on the bell icon next to it so that you always get notified anytime i upload new videos the name is benjamin and always remember there is no limit to creativity i should see you in my next video